I think we're ready. Let's call the meeting to order and stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Councillor Peterson. Here. Councillor Geisler. Here. Councillor Nelson. Here. Councillor Hochschild. Here. Mayor Boucher. Here. Announcements. Do any council members have announcements they'd like to make at this time? I hear none. Mr. Mulder, uh, we had a communication that wasn't listed here. Did you want to highlight that? Yeah, the one uh, communication we included in the packet was just a resignation from Jesse Stokey um, from the park board. So that will create an opening on the park board. We will start that advertisement process. And if you have um, individual candidates that you think would be good at that, you'll just have them uh, contact City Hall. Thank you. And uh, we had several presentations of an administrative nature at our pre-agenda meeting. They're detailed on the agenda. That information is available, available to the public if they would like. Uh, now we have public discussion. This is a time that any individual, individual can address the council about any item not on the agenda. We ask that you limit your time to three minutes per person. Is there anyone either in chambers or online that wishes to discuss anything with the council? If there is any public discussion, please state your name and address for the record. We'll have one last opportunity for public discussion. Is there any public discussion of a general nature this evening? Hearing none, we'll move on to the consent agenda, which includes the minutes and accounts payable. Do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. second. Motion by Councilor Nelson, second by Councilor Geisler. Roll call, please. Councilor Geisler. Aye. Councilor Nelson. Aye. Councilor Hoschild. Aye. Councilor Peterson. Aye. Mayor Boucher. Aye. Next, we will move to ordinances. Ordinance 2022-08, an ordinance amending Title II of the Hermantown City Code by amending the official zoning map, parcel 395-0158-00080. Do we have a mo this is a second reading. Do we have a motion? I'll motion to approve. Second. Motion by Councillor Geisler, second by Councillor Nelson. Mr. Mulder, would you like Mr. Johnson to take this? Yes, please. Eric, could you explain this one to us? Great. Thank you very much. Uh, before us this evening, this is a rezoning from HM, which is a Hermantown marketplace, to R residential which is primarily set up for single family residential uh, this is a 40 acre parcel that's associated with the Peyton acres development uh, right now single family homes are not a permitted use within the HM district uh, only multifamily housing is so the rezoning of this property to R3 would allow for the developer to continue their single family home development that they've already established within the previous two phases of the Peyton Acres development. Uh, this also aligns with the existing single family uh, homes that are exist to the south of this particular property here. Thank you. Do we have any questions or comments from council? Is there anyone from the public that wishes to have input on this motion? If so, please state your name and address for the record. Is there any member of the public, either in chambers or online, that wishes to comment on Ordinance 2022-08? Does anyone from the public wish to make comment on this ordinance change? Roll call, please. Councillor Nelson? Aye. Councillor Hochschild? Aye. Councillor Peterson? Aye. Councillor Geisler? Aye. Mayor Boucher? Aye. Resolution. Resolution 2022-93. Resolution approving pay request number three for reconditioning of Highway 53 Water Tower, Water Improvement District number 318 to Osseo Construction Company, LLC, 
in the amount of $144,580.50. Do we have oh, a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Councilor Peterson, second by Councilor Hoschild. Mr. Mulder. So this is the work that's been done through July 7th. Um, since that date, they have uh, finished a lot of the outside work. There's some cleanup on the inside yet, and just um, we need to fill the um, water tower and just do a little testing, but there'll be at least one more application, pay application for this. Thank you. Do we have any questions or comments from council? Like this one's gone a lot faster and smoother than uh... The other one yeah, and I think we um, got ahead of the schedule a little bit, so I think I think it has gone well. And it looks really so much better. Yeah. It was a really good change. Modern, modernized logo on the water tower. Is there any member of the public that wishes to comment on this resolution? If so, please state your name and address for the record. Is there any public comment on resolution 2022-93? Any member of the public wishes to comment on this resolution, please state your name and address. Public input is closed. We would ask for a roll call. Councilor Hustrow. Aye. Councilor Peterson? Aye. Councilor Geisler? Aye. Councilor Nelson? Aye. Mayor Boucher? Aye. Resolution 2022-94, resolution approving preliminary and final plat of Peyton Acres Phase 1C and imposing, imposing conditions on the final plat. We have a motion. Motion to approve. One second. Motion by Councilor Peterson, second by Councilor Geisler. Mr. Mulder, should we have Mr. Johnson address this? Yes, please. Eric? Great, thank you again. Uh, before us is the preliminary and final plan. This is the third phase of the Peyton Acres uh, development project. Uh, this phase consists of eight single family lots as well as two outlots. Uh, outlot A is proposed for the stormwater pond associated with this phase, with outlot B for it being for future phases of the Peyton Acres development. Uh, utilities will continue to be run towards uh, the east throughout the, this phase. Uh, these are existing utilities that have been put in place uh, in the roadway so far by the developer. Uh, there will also be the interior sidewalk system, which will connect up Stebner Road and eventually over to uh, Oak, excuse me, the uh, Oak Ridge development to the south. Uh, the lots are a minimum of a half acre in size, which uh, meets the minimum R3 requirements. Thank you. Do we have any questions or comments from council? Is there anyone from the public that wishes to comment on this resolution? If so, please state your name and address for the record. Is there any public comment on resolution 2022-94? And one last opportunity for public comment on resolution 2022-94. Roll call, please. Councillor Peterson. Aye. Councillor Geisler. Aye. Councillor Nelson. Aye. Councillor Hoschild. Aye. Mayor Boucher. Aye. Next, we have resolution 2022-95, resolution authorizing and directing the mayor and city clerk to execute and deliver development agreement with JLG Enterprises of Hermantown LLP for Peyton Acres Phase 1C. Do we have a motion? Second. Second. Motion by Councilor Geisler, second by Councilor Peterson. Mr. Johnson. Thank you. Uh, this outlines the requirements of infrastructure work associated with this third phase that was previously approved. Uh, this covers sidewalks, water, roadway, and stormwater for that phase. Uh, the developer is required to provide a letter of credit for the stormwater work for this development or for this phase. Uh, they have the option of providing a letter of credit for the remaining infrastructure or they may do that work uh, previously to the city signing off on the, the plat project. Thank you. Do we have any comments from council? Uh, I, for one, would like to compliment the developer on this and other developments they've done in the past and in their ability to work for what is best for the future of the community and uh, come to an agreement 
with the city that works for everyone. And uh, I do appreciate that. Is there any member of the public that would like to comment on this development? If so, please state your name and address for the record. Is there any public comment on resolution 2022-95? One last opportunity for public comment on resolution 2022-95. Councillor Geifer. Aye. Councillor Nelson. Aye. Councillor Hauschild. Aye. Councillor Peterson. Aye. Mayor Boucher. Aye. <clears throat> Next is resolution 2022-96. Resolution approving St. Louis County's SAP number 069-69-033, CP number 0091-401108. County State Aid Highway number 91, Haynes, within the city of Hermantown corporate limits. Do we have a motion? So moved. Second. Motion by Councilor Hoschild, second by Councilor Peterson. Mr. Mulder. So St. Louis County will be um, milling the bituminous surface, making some ADA pedestrian improvements, and they're changing the lane configuration on Haynes Road. That work will be done in 2023, and they're required to get municipal consent for that project. Thank you. Do we have any questions or comments from council? Is there any public input on this resolution? If so, please state your name and address for the record. Is there any public input on resolution 2022-96? Any public input on the resolution for County State Aid Highway Number 91 Haynes Road within the city of Hermantown? Roll call, please. Councillor Nelson? Aye. Councillor Hoschild? Aye. Councillor Peterson? Aye. Councillor Geisler? Aye. Mayor Boucher? Nay. Resolution 2022 97. Resolution receiving proposal and awarding consultant contract for an organizational management review to Baker Tilly US LLP. Do we have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Motion by Councilor Peterson, second by Councilor Hoschild. Mr. Mulder. So we're asking Baker Tilly to just take a look at um, kind of the city hall side of things, just in terms of uh, the current workload, how workload is uh, divided up. Um, how do we assign work on some of the various new programs that we've taken on in the last uh, couple of years? And so we're just looking at um, kind of an organizational review is like, well, and what kind of position would be the, the best position um, to help us deal with that workload. Thank you. Do we have any questions or comments from council? I'm just, I'm really, I think it's a good process to go through to come up with an answer of what we need because we are operating far too lean and really anxious to see what they come up with for a recommendation um, of what type of position and scope of job description that would look like um, and what that position can mean to the city to support the growth and the needs, so. Any other comments? Uh, I agree that this is a great step to take. Uh, we need to add capacity to city administration, but we need to know the best way to use our resources in adding that capacity. I think this will help us head there. Any other comments? Is there any public comment on this resolution? If there's any public comment on this resolution, please state your name and address for the record. Is there any public comment on resolution 2022-97? Roll call, please. Councillor Hostile? Aye. Councillor Peterson? Aye. Councillor Geisler? Aye. Councillor Nelson? Aye. Mayor Boucher? Aye. Next is resolution 2022-98. Resolution authorizing and directing the mayor and city clerk to execute and deliver the license agreement 
with South St. Louis Soil and Water Conservation District. Do we have a motion? Motion approved. Second. Motion by Councilor Peterson, second by Councilor Geisler. Mr. Johnson. Great, thank you again. Uh, in 2021, uh, the SWCD, that's the uh, Soil Water Conservation District, undertook a similar project. Uh, the, uh, that work was uh, handled in 2021. Uh, this is a second phase of that project, which in, will include stream bank meandering, installation of some trout habitat features, as well as repair of stream bank erosion that have occurred through the years. Uh, there will be work done to uh, culvert that's south of Morris Thomas Road that's going to help correct any scouring and erosion of the roadway side slope with that. Uh, there's no park or trail closure expected as part of this project. Uh, there will be a small portion of the northern uh, parking lot that will be closed off. That'll be utilized for a laydown area and storage of materials associated with this project. Uh, there will also be traffic control and safety signage associated with this project also. Thank you. Do we have any questions or comments from council on this resolution? Is there any public input on this resolution? If so, please state your name and address for the record. Is there any public input on resolution 2022-98? Is there any public input Resolution on the table right now. Roll call, please. Councillor Peterson. Aye. Councillor Geisler. Aye. Councillor Nelson. Aye. Councillor Hotschild. Aye. Mayor Boucher. Aye. And next is a motion to go into closed session. Motion to close the meeting of the Hermantown City Council pursuant to Minnesota <laughs> statutes. 13D.05 subdivision 3C1 and 13D.05 subdivision 3C3 to evaluate asking price of naming rights associated with a proposed hockey arena located in the city of Hermantown and develop offers and counter offers and pursuant to Minnesota statutes 13D.05 subdivision 3B per the attorney client privilege discussion regarding potential or threatened litigation and a leak in the pool at the Essential Wellness Center. Following the closed session, the council will reconvene in an open session. Do we have a motion for a closed session? Motion to move into close. Second. Motion by Councilor Peterson, second by Councilor Hostchild. All in favor say aye. 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 And we will pause for a few moments to allow the chambers to clear.